Hey guys, this video is about the dual drum rotary rock tumbler from Harbor Freight. And uh, this is not a go out and buy video, this is a project modify video. So um, I think a lot of us already have this, we've seen them out there for a while. They're pretty small capacity, there's, you know, there's better, there's better tools for the job. This is not, or purpose built tools for the job. Frankfurt Arsenal builds a, a really nice big one. I personally didn't need that much uh, capacity. And I kind of wanted something small since I'm starting to get a lot of stuff collected over the many years of my life. So small is actually something I look for nowadays instead of large. So anyway, I picked this up. Other guys had good luck with it. And uh, and I've had really good luck with it too. These containers, you know, they're pretty small. You can see I've got pins in the bottom there. There's about a pound of pins in there. And uh, they're pretty small, but they'll do a whole bunch of pistol brass. So for pistol brass reloading, these things are great. They do a good job. Um even for 300 blackout, you guys know I do that. Some of my followers do too. I can do 100, 300 blackout in one of these containers. So 200 per run, which for me is quite a bit. It may not be for some other folks, but uh, it's quite a bit for me. But these are pretty small for your large rifle. You know, like 7.62 by 54, 30-06, 308. And I was looking for something that... Right. I've always thought it would be nice to have something that had a little more capacity. Now, a real nice guy, on he's a moderator on one of the forums I'm on. He posted up casually that he had just cut down some 4-inch PVC pipe and made his own little drum. You know, here's some 4-inch PVC pipe. And uh, I perked up on that and thought, you know, hey, I was actually at Lowe's the next day and I thought, I'm going to try that. So I looked up his post online and gathered up the parts. I think I spent somewhere in the neighborhood of $16 and uh, came home and put this together. So here, here's what it is. Here's a, this is just a long tube and um, I used PVC glue to glue this in. Just clean it real good, make sure it was really clean with, uh, I used acetone, but you probably used rubbing alcohol or something like that. And just get a good glue on this cap here. This is just a thin, I think these are about a buck fifty. Um, and that seals up that in. But what's nice about it is you don't have anything hanging out. And that's, I was actually thinking about building one. You've seen guys that use the actual four inch caps over it, but they're not going to fit in here. So they have to go down to the three inch size. Well, this keeps you in the four inch because there's nothing protruding out. So it works. The next thing is to add a test plug. And that just fits in the end here. Now, the test plug comes with a giant wing nut, but it's too big and it's going to hit right here so you have to swap that out and just put a standard 3 8 nut just use a wrench to tighten it up so I did that all of that and I ran a uh, actually this pile of brass right here the whole thing 7.62 by 39 and it worked pretty good but it still needed some help it wasn't as clean as I'd like to see I actually ran these for about three hours and they're not, they're still not as bright as I was used to in these, uh, containers. So back to the drawing board. And so like I said, this worked, but what I found when I investigated was that these are pretty slick on the inside. And so the brass just sort of laid there and rolled in a pile, like laid in like cordwood along with the pins. They didn't really tumble and roll around very much and didn't get a lot of activity going on. So I went looking for a way to fix that. Now, I like simple solutions to basic problems. Simple cheap solutions to basic problems. So what I decided was that these little tumblers, this tumbler needed something in there, some paddles or something to break up the action. And I just took I had some half inch PVC and I just cut it, made some little half rounds and glued them in place. Now these are, you can see they're actually quite a ways apart and they're positioned so that they don't interfere with each other. And I tried a couple different combinations. Here's one here. This was just a leftover piece. And what I found was do you want to leave enough room for the brass to get turned like that. 
and that does the same thing to the pins. Sometimes they pop over and bounce down, and sometimes if they hit just right, they'll spin. But you don't you don't, you don't want to have something here to prevent it from spinning all the way around. Each time it spins around, it has the opportunity to get more pins inside it and uh, do a good job there. So anyway, that's what this video is about. <laughs> so basically, you have the the part. This is nine and three eighths inches long, and that might be the hardest part for some folks is to cut this. I use my miter saw, chop saw, electric 10 inch, and I had to kind of spring it up a little bit, lift the lift the handle up to get this underneath, and then I could start my cut, and then I had to stop it, rotate, because I couldn't plunge deep enough. I was hitting the motor shaft. But I got a pretty clean cut, and that worked pretty well. So... Here's what it looks like, sealed up. That's nice and tight there. And you have to run this end down here because it'll interfere with this housing here. And you see it fits in there pretty nice, not a lot of play. Runs great. Uh, you have to have the weight on it to get it to, to go because like if I start it like this, it probably won't run. Well, maybe a little bit. Needs a little bit of weight down on the roller. The weight of the water and the and the brass is plenty to get it going. It runs really good. So back to the little nubs here. One of the reasons I went with this kind of low profile nub is I didn't want to put big paddles there because this isn't very strong. So I didn't want a lot of torque to overcome a big pile of mass that that was piled up behind, you know, like a long one or whatever. Uh, I just want a little something there to break up the rotation, spin those cases around. So that's how I came up with these. This is something I already had. It was also PVC, and that's what got me started down that road. Now, the logical solution is you're going to just glue these in with PVC, but that doesn't work. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's kind of a, there's a shiny coating in here that is not, what is it, polyvinyl chloride. So your standard PVC glue won't give you a good adhesion. It doesn't melt the plastic because this this is a different material than the outside here. So what I ended up using surprisingly worked really well. I just have this little you know hot glue gun and I just ran a nice thick bead on here and reached in and placed them. Now I had it all set up and kind of had an idea. I cleaned the surface real good again, just like you would. To do any gluing and uh, so I kind of had an idea where I wanted it. The glue sets up pretty fast but it's long enough that you can reach in and sort of place it in place and kind of hold it um, until it bonds and you can see here's see this loose one here this is one I did with standard PVC glue it just didn't adhere at all it was a fail so with a hot glue gun this sucker is in place and they're not coming loose. Anyway, cheap, easy solution. Works great. <laughs> I always like uh, inexpensive things that work better than, than I thought they would. <laughs> so um, I'll probably post some pictures up of the brass inside. I don't know if you can see that. This is some 223 I ran. Uh, this was, I ran this for an hour and a half. And it is remarkably cleaner than some of the, the first round of brass. So this was one load, that's 150 in there. You'd probably do more. I did the first load being conservative. Um, they're nice and bright and shiny. But the most impressive thing is they're clean all the way through, all the way down. So that's what we want. Now, I'm using, I bought one of those packs of Frankfurt Arsenal pins. I think they're five pounds in there. And uh, using just a little, about a nine millimeter case worth of Limeshine, which is a tradition. I'm not sure if this is necessary, but everybody does it, and I don't want to be different, so <laughs> so I did it. Uh, what else? Uh, a little bit of dish soap, and you might try some Simple Green in with your dish soap. Uh, you get some buildup, especially if you've got lubrication on your cases, and it'll kind of stick to the PVC I noticed right away. I clean that off, but um, maybe add a little bit Something that has a little bit of grease fighting in there too. 
You don't want to use too much soap because you don't want to get too many suds. So don't fill it all the way up. Just fill it, you know, leave a little bit of space. That'll help with the agitation. You get a two full. Uh, I don't think it tumbles as well. You get as much activity. But that's something you can play with. And so I will put, as always, in if you click the more button down here, I'll put links to all the things that you see here that I can find anyway, so you can see what we're using, and uh, particularly the parts used to make this. And well, what else? What else? Oh, when you get these Harbor Freight deals, let's face it, these are not the most, uh, not the best. So take some time to make some adjustments here. There's a little pulley here on this fan. You can loosen that and slide it back and forth. Mine was actually, when I got I should have taken it back, but that's just not my speed. I got to fix things. So um, mine was actually, looked like it had been dropped, and this the weight of the motor had kind of bent out here. So I took this all apart, flattened it back out, and it works great. Uh, there's a little bit of wobble in here that I couldn't get out, but as long as the pulleys align, it seems to do pretty well. You can see that there. So those are just some things you want to do. Anyway, like I said, this is really not a go out and buy video, but if you already have one of these, here's an option for you to increase your capacity and um, have a little weekend project, maybe something to play with. So here's what I started with. Bring that up so you can see it. Those are nasty range brass. And that's what it looks like after an hour and a half in the uh, tumbler. I have no complaints with that. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you with that. Let me know what you think. Click the like button. Uh, if I have any updates, I'll put them in the bottom. Uh, I'll, you'll see it'll have asterisk, asterisk, update. As I go along, I can't edit these after I'm done with them. So, you know, I'm, I'm always fiddling with stuff. And if I see something that works better, I'll pass that on to you guys. Uh, so come back and take a look. Hope this is useful to you. Like it. Subscribe. You know the drill.